Hello, it's Charles Folkart on March the 4th, 2017. We're in Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 7. And the whole book, the entire book of Proverbs is about wisdom. And here we have wisdom is the principal thing. In other words, wisdom is the best thing. Wisdom is the first thing. Wisdom is the beginning. Everything begins with wisdom. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting of wisdom, get understanding. And I understand that phrase to mean learn how to use the wisdom you get. And a lot of people, first of all, they don't look for wisdom. They don't seek after wisdom. Therefore, they have no wisdom to work with. There's two ways to learn anything. One is you can learn it the hard way. You can learn it through experience. Or the other way is you can learn through the wisdom or the experience of others. And a lot of people that I know, they would rather learn things the hard way because they never seek out the wisdom that others have and they just kind of plod along. They kind of uh, make their way through life, making one mistake after the other, or not having all the understanding, all the wisdom that they could get. It's all right there. They could learn from others, but they would rather, they're either too proud or they have their egos too big, or they're not smart enough to realize that there's two ways to learn things. You can learn the hard way, like I said, through your own experience, or you can learn through the experience of others. And here we have the wisdom of Solomon, king of Israel, in the 10th century B.C., son of King David, and... We have to keep in mind that King Solomon and King David were not Jewish. They, they were the kings of the nation of Israel, nation of Judah and the nation of Israel. And therefore, they were our kings. And the wisdom in Proverbs and the wisdom from Solomon and others that are in the book of Proverbs are for the Israelites. And if you're a Caucasian, it's quite likely you're an Israelite. And these Proverbs are for us. They're for you. They're for you to learn from the wisdom of others, in this case, Solomon and others. And you don't have to learn things the hard way. I want to thank you for watching. Embrace the love of the truth. And may the grace of God, our Father, the God, the God Yahweh of King Solomon, who gave King Solomon his wisdom, may his grace be upon us all, for we certainly need it. See you.